Okay, let's let make a Dollar Tree curtain rod. So, what you're gonna need is a utility hanger. This is found in the broom section. You're gonna need a broom handle. Ping pong balls. Ball ball. These are found in the toy section of the um, Dollar Tree. These came from Amazon, but they have them. Um, they have some right now with some eyeballs on it because Halloween is approaching. You're gonna need a measuring tape. If you can't find a broomstick, you can use PVC pipe. And if you're using PVC pipe, you're going to need a PVC cutter. Curtains you're going to hang up and you're going to need something to hang this up with. I use command strips. Okay, let's go. Hey, y'all. Hey, YouTube channel. Hey, and my Facebook group, CCBAB. Okay, I have some ping pong balls here. And all I did was take my scissors and poke a little hole in it. And I'm going to take these wooden skewers and I'm going to stick it in a hole. See if I can get it in there. Okay, we can just open a little bit more. Sorry. I didn't want to make it too big, but it really don't matter. So we're going to stick these in here. That's what I'm going to use to hold the ping pong balls up. Because I'm going to go and paint them. So I have a dish. Well, I have a strainer out there, a colander. That's what I use to paint stuff. So I'm just going to stick these in there and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint these. Okay, now, I am going to be using these Dollar Tree utility hangers. So, these are in the um, area where the brooms and the mops and things are. I'm going to use these to hang my curtain rod once I make it. So, what I need to do is two of them on there, but I want them hung like that. So, I need to break them apart. I have this craft knife. This heated craft knife, that's what I'm going to use. Now, you can use a saw. Um, Dollar Tree has those table saws. I mean, them hand saws. You can use that. You can use your hot glue gun. I didn't try to break it. You might be able to break it. But you want to separate them. And this craft knife, it cuts right through there. Get it heated. And these craft knives, I'll leave a link for them. You can buy them at um, Amazon, but they also have them at Walmart, Hobby Lobby. Um, I believe Joanne has them. Um, Michaels has them. And they're about maybe $12, $13. They're not very expensive. They come in handy when you're trying to cut stuff like this. So... <clears throat> See, I just wanted them cut apart. Make sure that they're still lay flat once you cut them apart. If you're using like your hot glue gun or something, when you finish, just make sure they are lay flat. Let me take this piece off. Because you're going to use these to hang up your curtain rods. So they're laying flat. Now it's up to you whether you want to cut that piece off i'm gonna go ahead and cut it off so i can make sure make them even you don't necessarily have to but it has a little hook there so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna cut that little hook off and these are at the dollar tree in the section with the not um with the mops and uh brooms and this is the utility hanger, I believe it's called. I'm not sure if that's the name of it because I didn't have it in a pack. But they do sell these um, broom and mop hangers. If you can't find none at the Dollar Tree, they do have it. The command strips, they sell them command strips, sells them. But they're like $8 for one. 
and this is 125 for one so you come out better going to the dollar tree and i'm gonna show you what i'm, I'm gonna do with this if i get it apart brackets um cut and i spray painted mine we're going to measure where we want it on the wall so you're going to find the spot where you want it on the wall from this top hole don't worry about the bottom because when you cut it that might not be even but the top holes on all of them are even okay so you're going to mark where you want on the wall you'll go up there and figure out where you want it on the wall Definitely is not um, Rust-Oleum paint. I use some Dollar Tree paint that I've been had about four or five years because Dollar Tree no longer sells paint. But anyway, you're going to go up there and you're going to mark your hole. Okay, you don't have to use a magic mark. I'm just using this for um, demonstration purposes. So you're going to have your hole marked where you want it. I measured mine from the corner. Of my window so I had my I had it where I wanted it at so I had my bracket where I wanted it at so I went back and I measured from the top of the bracket to my known point which was the top of my window sill which gives me how many inches i want so that's the way you'll do it you'll mark it do your first one figure out where you want it then measure your next one to the top of your bracket and so on and so forth and they should be the same height or the same Height, height from the window or whatever your known point is. You can also use your leveler. The reason I'm going to do this the quick way is because I know I'm not going to leave it like this. So once you do that, you're going to go into putting your brackets up. I'm going to use command strips. So let me show you how to do the command strips. Now, you can use the hole um, to put it up there permanently. I'm not going to put it up there permanently um, because I definitely probably, definitely probably, don't even make sense. What I'm gonna do I won't be leaving these I take these the command strips. I go ahead and I put them together. Then I'm going to take it. I'm going to put them on the back right below the hole because we're going to use the hole to line it up we're going to put it on the back right below the hole so you're going to just take off the sticker on one side i know you don't need that okay everybody know how to use so it and just put it on there then i'm gonna go and i'm gonna put it up okay as a side note for those of you that have something to say about my ashy hands they're always actually when I'm crafting or making something, I'll make sure I wash my hands, take all the oil and lotion off because it messes up a lot of things that I work with and I just don't have time for that. So, yeah, I'm always be ashing. Well, hopefully not me, but my hands. Okay, my hands going to always be ashing. I'm going to use just a regular broom handle from the Dollar Tree. A regular broom handle from the Dollar Tree. Sorry about that light. So you're going to want to take the paper off. I'm not going to take mine off because, again, I'm not going to leave this up. And it was kind of hard to come off. Yeah, maybe I was wrong. Anyway, you got some um, gooby gone to get that off. And they sell that at the Dollar Tree also. So you're just going to take the handle off. We're going to use these golf balls from earlier that we painted earlier. I painted these metallic gold with a little bit of metallic gold I had. Yes, I will be leaving the plastic up. I hate sunlight in my room in the morning. 
once we take it off we're gonna go ahead and put the curtains on and then we're gonna take this and put it on here so the way you do it you just put a little glue around there and i'm just using hot glue because if you want to change your curtains you want to be able to pop it off you don't need permanent glue unless you're going to leave it up there forever unless somebody be messing with your curtains nobody will mess with mine i put a little hot glue around the top put it in there then put a couple of dots around just to secure it in there Now you can clean that up. Definitely do it a little bit neater than I did. Again, this is not a permanent thing. So for this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to make a hole in the golf ball and just screw it on there. So let me see if that's going to work. I'm going to use this glue gun instead. I have a soldering iron. So let's see. Going around in a circle till I get bigger, big enough for the um the screw on that part right there. That's on there. Let me see if that's big enough. I don't know if it is. I have the hole in there and I'm just gonna take this in here and I'm gonna screw it in so this side you won't need no hot glue because it actually screwed in there so it's good to go and then we're just gonna put these curtains up Don't say nothing about no fingerprints if you see them. I don't look at TV. <laughs> okay, there we go. And that is a quick Dollar Tree curtain rod. Okay, so continuing on, I have another window I want to do, and I want to do the one that's in my bathroom. Now, I do have another um broom handle from the Dollar Tree. However, my window, the um, rod that I want, I want it to be 30 inches. So, 30 inches right here. So, I will either have to cut this or I could use something else. Now, I could cut this. I'm thinking my, um, my pipe might, my pipe cutter might cut that, but in case not or in case you don't have it at your Dollar Tree, you can always use just regular PVC pipe. Get you some PVC pipe colors. I'll link some below. Um, they'll be linked in my Amazon store. You can get you some PVC cutters and just cut the PVC pipe to the length you want. Now, this is a half inch P PVC pipe. They come larger. They come smaller. I have some real tiny ones that I'm going to use for my cabinets. Well, these cabinets on this side, I'm going to put curtains on the front as soon as I get soon as my Amazon delivery today. So I can either cut these, but I'm using again, using what I have at the house. I have these curtains here that I'm going to use in their sheer. I don't know if I want that white showing through. We'll see. Um, I'm going to... These are made the same way that I made the... Um, ones in the bedroom except for the cutting part and so i'll show you how to cut the um, pvc pipe i'm gonna try to cut this broom out and see what it cut it seems like it's made out of it's not steel so i'm gonna try to cut that because it is black and i would rather have black than this white if not and i have to use this pvc pipe i'll just take this outside and i'll spray paint it um and it'll be just yeah. as 
just as fine it, as that. It has a little groove in there. That's where you sit the pipe and you just ratchet it down. So I'm just going to sit the pipe right there. And I, I use the tape to mark my spot because it's black and I can't write on it with a pen. So I just use tape. So I'm just going to set it right there. Sit it right there. That's where to cut it. And then all I do is start ratcheting it down. Now, I'm hoping this will cut. It feels like a PVC pipe. So you can do it with one hand. You might not be able to do this. This plastic. Oh, yeah, it cut, but it bent it. Oh, you know what? That ain't even plastic. So that's how you do the PVC pipe. I think I'm going to unbend this and use it. But let's do one with PVC pipe. Okay, so we do know now that the Dollar Tree... Um, Poles are not plastic. That is a little thin uh, aluminum. I don't want to use that because now I made it sharp. But I'm glad I did that. Now I can use these things for different things. And I can cut them. So let's do 30 inches on this. Let me get my dang on tape back. I might still use that. Just unbend the end. Because of the way I'm going to. The way I'm going to hang it, I'm hanging it straight up with the, um, I'm hanging it in the thing like this instead of like that. So, it might still work. But anyway, let me show you how to do one on, on a PVC pipe where it don't crunch. Okay, so I'm going to mark 30. And yeah, I know this is white and I could have wrote on it, but I have tape in my pocket and no pen. So, again, we're going to take it and we're going to put it in the little groove for the um, pipe. Just sit in there and you start as you ratchet. It's a one-hand operation. You don't need another person. As you ratchet, which means as you squeeze it, that's ratchet. As you ratchet the um, tool, it gets tighter and tighter. One hand operation, smooth cut. Very smooth, you don't have to go back and sand it or nothing. One hand, it will be linked below. I still have on my workout clothes, I'm gonna go hang this curtain. And then, I'll let you see what it look like. Mm. It's aluminum, but I can definitely just put some tape across the top to keep it from being a sharp edge, and it's easy to bend with your hand. So I'm gonna probably use this because I don't even have an end to it yet. What I'm gonna put? So I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna use the beam. So. I'm getting ready to change my curtains, and I thought I'd let you see the backyard. I don't know why. I just picked up the camera and walked to the window. This is my backyard. That's the top of my shed. <laughs> A bunch of nothingness. Yep, that's my backyard. But Thank you guys for watching this video. Go ahead and hit that like button, please. And if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Returning subscribers, thank you and welcome home. New subscribers, welcome here. And both of you, go ahead and hit that bell to be notified when I upload new content. I'm trying to upload more, less on the editing, more on the content. So, see you next time. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.